Hey folks, here's another great book in the uh, library at the Chicagoland Combined Veterans Museum, One Bullet Away, The Making of a Marine Officer by Nathaniel Fick. This is on the Commandant of the Marine Corps' reading list. Uh, if you're a good Marine, you've probably, you've probably read this before. Uh, good story by Nathaniel Fick about how he goes through OCS, uh, which is Officer's Candidate School, and then on to TBS, the basic school, where they spend nine months learning everything they, they can. They can teach them about the combat arms field. And that's from uh, being a squad leader, uh, platoon sergeant, platoon commander, on on up, and how to call in fire, how to be, uh, how to call in medevac, support, the whole nine yards. And then they pick the top guys, uh, you know, they, 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 they have ratings, and They'll, they give, I believe, the top five guys whatever they want to choose. And majority of them either choose to be a, a pilot in the aviation field the Marine Corps or the infantry. Marine officers or good Marine officers like to, to lead men, and, uh, and that would be in combat if possible. So a lot of those guys also chose the infantry. So after TBS, those that chose the infantry will then go on to uh, the Marine Infantry Officers course. Uh, which is an additional three months, and that's a pretty tough course. Matter of fact, uh, I understand that they even uh, uh, compare that to the Marine, I'm sorry, the Army Ranger uh, Leadership course, where those guys get that Ranger tab. So anyways, uh, this, again, a uh, great book by Nathaniel Fick, Making a Marine Officer uh, One Bullet Away. So uh, he goes OCS, TBS, into the Marine Infantry Leaders course, and then after that, he reports to his unit. He gets to his unit, finds out. Now, this is before 9-11. He gets to his unit, and he finds out that uh, they're short. And just, you know, I don't, after 9-11, I'm sure things have changed. But before that, the Marine Infantry Battalions were always short. Everything else was top-heavy. Whatever other job there is in the Marine Corps, you'd always find there was plenty of, plenty of uh, Marines. And, again, there were... I don't know how they do it, but I always heard they were overmanned, for whatever it might have been from, um, uh, you know, cook bakers and uh, supply and aviation and military police. Everybody was overloaded. But the Marine Infantry Battalions were always short. Uh, he gets there, he finds that out, and, uh, you know, he has to work with the platoon sergeant. But it's interesting, if you're a former Marine Infantryman, you'll, you'll uh, laugh at the uh, escapades of uh, the Marines when he first reports in. Uh, getting hazed, you know, they want to find out what he's made out of, so they, they you know, and, and that's fun, it'll bring back for any of you guys who have uh, bring in uh, infantry battalions, uh, you know, some some uh, uh, some memories, but he, uh, after uh, he gets to his unit, they deploy in an expeditionary unit, they are, uh, a helicopter crashes, there's injured and killed, and they pick his platoon to go in there and make the recovery, so uh, after that, uh, and I can't remember because it's been a while since I read this one, but uh, they either they come back to the United States or they or they go to Afghanistan right away. But he's the first Marine Infantry unit in the first Marine Infantry unit to be in, uh, deployed to Afghanistan. So it's interesting to read that uh, the exploits of this uh, of his platoon in Afghanistan. After that, he returns back to the United States, Marine Corps base, and uh, decides to go into reconnaissance. Uh, chooses reconnaissance and gets, you know, he gets selected. He goes, he qualifies, and then he's selected to the, um, he's in the Marine Reconnaissance Unit of the 1st Marine Division, and they go to Iraq. Um, that, his part in that, and that actually, that unit was in a book called Generation X, and they actually came out with a series on a cable channel. So that's, it was like five or six days, but, uh, so he's in another book later on, Generation X. But Nathaniel Fick, One Bullet Away, The Making of a Marine Officer. If you want to know what it is to be like a Marine officer, and especially one that's a Marine infantry officer, this is the book for you. You need to check it out. So come on down to the library, uh, register, and take out the book. Okay, folks, take care now. Bye-bye.